Oh yeah, we famous though. So. Right, 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 right. Hey, the, um, you know the the baddest hit motherfuckers in the world is women from the CIA. Bitches that work for the CIA. That's because they can. They, can they use the sex. They seduce you. Yeah. That's yeah. how they got uh yeah. your boy, the general. Uh, uh, fuck, General Betrayus. What they call Betrayus? Uh, Remember, uh, he, he got caught uh, with a spy or yeah, something. Right. Giving secrets, secrets yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nuclear yeah. secrets and shit. Yeah. A bitch. A bitch. So check it out. The yeah. baddest betrayal. Baddest one was they should sister. What are you about to say? They show you that in the James was, Bond movie. You know how the James Bond movie? They chopped the motherfucker's head off. Who was it? Oh, uh, uh, Judas. Judas, yeah. Judas. That's my girl. I wish I knew Judas. I wish she was here in the corner. Oh, that's 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 building. They go Judas right there. Like Judas. Hey, <laughs> Judas, Judas probably got the devil right now. Oh, she probably does. Hey, that'd be good. She probably got a beautiful spirit though. The most high protector that way. She probably hit him. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you never know, because that's how it's going. This poor man in the country, the beautiful woman that was once beautiful now looks like a, a rug. But you know, <laughs> hey, but it's true, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's true, though, because uh, beauty oh, is. I call a picture of a rug. A rug? <laughs> a, tra a rug is trampled on, on that. Right? A, a rug is trampled on all the time. That's right? why they call him a tramp. Right. It's a tramp. Uh, yep, Get trampled on. And they, they love getting trampled on too. They will complain later and say, "Oh, he hurt me." And, but that's what you wanted. That's what you wanted. You wanted the bad boy. You didn't want the good boy. You wanted the bad boy. You know, that lawless, they ruthless say that piece too. of shit you was attracted to. They be like, "I like." Uh, yeah, they, they be like, "I like a guy with tats. I like Look, a guy with." Uh, I ain't getting no tats. I just be on this shit. We know that's what a, a lot of say women that. say. That they, they do. I know. You know, they they want yeah, somebody that's gangster. Go ahead, my man. It's good. Is it, is it, is it necessary to be bullies? What's, what's, the, Wait, what's, the, what's, the, what's the word bully mean? Can somebody look at the etymology? Right, right. Etymology, please. You know, you know, you know, you know the word bully doesn't mean. How's the child? Giving you information, child. Answer your question, man. I'm answering your question. But you know what a bully is. We don't have to play word thing. See, that's the problem. All right, all right. Just go with what he says. Just go with what he says. We ain't gotta play word. You're right. But we're not bullying nobody. We're not bullying nobody. Who's bullying? 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 Who's
bullying people is when I come up and put you on the ground and spit on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. We showing people love, you know what I mean? That's all we doing. This is love. So we out here telling people they is like so we bullying. That ain't bullying. We out here waking the left up, so we bullying. We know evil shit's coming. Like we warning people about the cops and all this. Like Right, like people get mad because we talk loud. What if you see your son in the middle of the street about to get killed by a car? But like, son, oh, come on, get out the street. Well, like, get your ass out the street, you about to die. <laughs> son, so that's what we hey, tell him. Hit him with the Michael Jackson movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, though, man. So, if, you know, people, but you ain't supposed to talk to your kids that way. Right. Oh, you can't. You can't discipline your kids no more. Romans 3 and 3, what if some did not believe? Shall the unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? God forbid, yes. Right. Oh, no, I, I thought you were done already. And it said, God forbid, let God be true, Yahweh, but every man a liar. Every man a liar. As it's written, that thou mightest be justified in thy saints, we might overcome with our judge. But if our unrighteousness command the righteousness of Yahweh, what shall we say? Is the God of Yahweh righteous who take vengeance? I speak as a man. He just got to man. He just did like 10, 15 or something like that. Uh, and talking about yeah, yeah. Tripping, man. Oh, tripping. we got one perfect time. I got this oh, one. Got that. And he was walking up and down talking shit about somebody else, man. He's a, you get that one. Proverbs 13 and 13. It says, uh, now, this is not the Holy Bible, hey, man. we was trying to read this for your boy, but he, he took off. He scurried off like a rat. Whoso yeah. despiseth the word shall be destroyed. That's why I told you it's going to be destroyed by missiles, man. Uh, and but, not by the prophets of the, uh, the Most High, man. But there's a, there's a good part to this, too. Well, they both good. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth co the commandments. He that feareth the commandments. And what's the commandments? The laws that Yahweh, the God of the Bible, gave you. It said, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. So that's why we out here. Whatever we out here teach. We won that crown. And that, according to the Bible, you're supposed to go out and teach. That's what, what that's what so-called Christ said. He said go out and teach, man. If you don't go out and teach, man, you might as well just go dig you a grave, man. Why? First Corinthians 13, uh, oh, yeah. They get mad at us for doing what the Bible told us to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's crazy. They just stare at them. They don't get it, man. They don't get it. But we out here passing out sandwiches, passing out John 316 flyers. Oh, yeah. oh, shit, what if we start passing out blunts? Get, get a fit. Oh, we we get, get the world. Bro, we'd have all kind of followers. I pass out some free weed. Boy, we have we have a million followers. We be running shit out here. You know what I mean? Yeah, you be running shit. Well, nobody come against you. Oh, those guys are screwed. But see, this word is fucked up. But he, he said we was touted. Go ahead, listen to this. 1 Corinthians 13 11. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man. I became a man. Like, when, when, when you a child, you know, you ain't fucking cussing. Mom teaches. Oh, yeah. When you get older, then you start cussing. You get happy, like, finally yeah. I can cuss. Bitch. A child. A child. A child. A child. A child. Yeah. Speak softly and low. Speak up, my man. Speak up, my man. Yeah, he always say that. How many times that. we have to tell people to speak yeah. up, man? Speak up, brother. Speak up. As a child, when you become a man, that voice and that deepness, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, yep, you hit puberty. That's when yeah. you become a man. Te the testicles kicking. Yep. And another thing, the best coaches is the ones that fucking use the, 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 the oh, best Bobby, word. Bobby Knight. <laughs> Bobby Knight will cuss your ass. Throw Every which way. And then you're going to win that championship. All great coaches. And you're going to win that all, championship. All great coaches, whether you see them on the sidelines or not, are really out to get busy. Yeah, they're getting busy. Yeah. If they win in the Super Bowl, that coach is getting busy. He, he got, yeah. he got a fiery spirit. Or his staff spirit. is, or his staff is. You, you, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, on the pros, is a little different because they don't get a Especially them college coaches, boys, yeah. they do they not play. play. They is mean. See, I remember the Ohio State coach on. Woody Hayes, punch a Michigan player. That motherfucker was tough, man. Yep. And he was always grabbing his players by the face. Wait, man, you listen to him? He was always hollering at him. Got to. Well, my favorite coach of all time was actually Bobby Knight. Bobby Knight is the greatest coach in sports history, any sport. Go to YouTube, 
Listen to one of them videos for Are you hear boom, 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 boom. Hey, you know what? Uh, players that said they played for Bobby Knight, they said what? They said they said that they said the hell with basketball. Bobby Knight taught me how to be a man. He taught him how to be a man. I was in the Marines. I've been there. They talk shit about you. They like smoking some shit. I got I got the term like they talk shit about you. They make fun of you. I forgot what they call it. But uh, now in the army, now you got a stress card and shit. Oh, stress card. Stress card. But they took boxing out the Marines. We used to have boxing, so they took it out because someone died. Damn. You know? I mean, there's people die. That stuff happens. Hey, you, you know, you know, you know, like, uh, I forget, like, uh, hundreds of people, or maybe thousands of people died for the rehearsal of the storming of the beach of Normandy. Just for the practice run, the dry run. There wasn't even real people died in that. So we, yeah, we, like, we're preparing like for the, like the big showdown. So this is serious business, man. We is not like going into the candy land, you know what I mean? On an adventure to candy land and happy land. And we we going, we, we going to the, we about to go into the darkness, to the evil day. Yeah, bro. This ain't, yeah, this ain't fucking Sesame Street. This ain't. I became a man, I put away childish things. But now we see through a glass. Oh, that's it. See through the glass darkly. Yeah, read that one too. That's a, that's a classic thing. It says, but now. Where's that at? What chapter is that? 13. 13. I gotta remember that. But now we see through a glass darkly. Yeah, we but, see through a glass darkly. Go ahead. But then face to face, now I know in part. But then I shall, I know even as I am not. Right, because we, like, we see through the glass darkly, meaning what? Because it's hard to see the truth, you know what I mean? You got to sit there and focus and concentrate. Because these people, they, they looking through that glass, too, but they can't see it. They can't decipher it. That's what that's going into. Because if we dealing with mysteries, man. It's truth and it's serious. It, it can't everybody see it. And it, what's that scripture, to, uh, 1 John 2 and 21? It says, you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. And when you go into the Greek, it really says... That you perceive all things, and we, we see all things. That we don't just know the truth, we can see the truth. It's, a, it's one thing to know it, there's another thing to see it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yep, seers. A prophet is a seer because he sees. When you see the truth, then, then you fully know the truth. You know what I mean? Because we see it, we know it's real. Yeah. We see the plane out right That's a good way to explain that scripture. If you see through that glass darkly, you gotta be able to see that big picture. Right. A lot of people right. ain't got that, you can't see That's that. That's why picture. this devil is called the Illuminati. The scripture referred to him as uh, that Lucifer. You know? Yep. This devil is seen in the dark. That's why they use an owl as a, a symbol. Yep. He's gonna use an owl. Hey, they got them owls all throughout downtown. We right, they sure do. Video. I saw them, I saw them. That owl has a special oil on his eyes that he can actually see in the dark. They call it the Owl of Athena. Right. That's right. what the Freemasons use. Right. We have that same oil, but this oil we have is more, it's more potent, more real, you know? Man, we got that the olive oil. oil. Right, the olive oil, that A-O, man. Uh, that we, that's why, hey, that's, that's what the word Christian means. It means the, the the ones who got the oil. We leaking the oil. Yeah, man. we get the. Look at that. I got oil all over my nails. Oh, hey, let me get that script. Like no, 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 no. I got so close. Hold on, let me get that though. I got that script. That the. Uh, uh, so you talking about the oil? I wish I could say like that. You got that so close. Hold up. Uh. Uh. The oil. Represent of the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I'll get that famous scripture. This is number two of what John 316, right? Psalms 23 and 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me between the still waters. Oh, this right here is them green pastures right here. Because we out here for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And what your sheep and cattle, what they got to so there's that, there's that green passage right here. We giving y'all, we feeding y'all. Uh, 
He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Oh, what's his name? What is his name? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Now, America, y'all know that scripture, the valley of the shadow of death. America is the valley of the shadow of death. Literally. Literally. And you're going to find out for sure when they come take them guns, boy. They know. They know they're referred to as sheep who always rip, rip, can be led to the, they're going to be led to the slaughter. Yep. These people can actually be driven to believe anything and do anything. Yeah, because you got good sheep and bad sheep. There you go. Good sheep and bad sheep. Oh, yeah. Uh, said, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Hey, this is this is that scripture I wanted to get because what you said, you said you got the oil dripping everywhere. It says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And this I was praying, this is the goodness and mercy. We actually we out here trying to give them some oil, but I don't want none of that. I, yeah, like, they, I like that grease from that, that bacon I'll just cook. Yeah, they like bacon grease. They don't want the oil. That's a, that's a good parable. Crazy, man. They'd rather slurp down that bacon grease. Right, they, whatever, they, whatever they get that pork chop they done cook or whatever, man, they, they pour that grease out, put it in a jar they done saved up, a little yep. safe. And pretty much that's a, a metaphor for their understanding and their wisdom. There you, go. you know what I mean? Because our wisdom is that oil. Their, right. their wisdom is vomit. Filth. Like you said, bacon grease. That's right. The scripture says their table is full. Go ahead. Matthew 10 and 21. And, the, and thy brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the child shall rise up against the parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hating the old man for my name's sake. For my name's sake. We, the name is important because we come out here and we profess the name. Yeah, how about some y'all? What's up? But. But this this cuts to all the people that be like, oh, I got baptized, I got saved. It said, but he that endures to the end shall be saved. What's that? Is that Matthew 6? No. Oh, Matthew 6. Somebody actually come up here and say, I'm saved. What was that camp? I can't remember. No, last week. I'm saved. I watched that, man. That video last week, was, that, that, that was fire. I was on fire last week. We was on fire this week. Yeah, I don't remember half of it. Was we here or down to down? That was down here. Camp was just, yeah. yeah, I remember. Yeah, we were cold down here last week. We was down here freezing. Remember that? Yeah, you got to endure to the end. Meaning endure to what? Just stay alive to the end? It's that one scripture, Matthew. You said, thank God that I come and destroy the laws of the prophet, but to all the people. All they good for that. Happy is thou feet that go preach. Ain't that what the scripture said? I got something. I got something. I do. Quickly. You get a quick one? No, I got something. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to use bastard. Don't say nothing bad about them guys. They're there to help you. Yeah, the, the fire guys are cool though. Yeah, the fire, yeah, the fire. Let me ask y'all a question. Why they got cops with patrolling the neighborhood? You don't see firemen patrolling the neighborhood looking for fires. Yeah, you ain't never heard a song called Fuck the uh, Fire Department. Yeah, they got Fuck the Police. How can there ain't no song called Fuck the Fire Department? Watch your problem is. Yeah, it probably is. It probably is. Let's find some hillbilly man that's hella fire. Yeah, that's a cat. Man, I read this. I'm gonna go get that fucking helmet. I got some bad stuff. Yeah, that's a cat. Yeah, that's a cat. Yeah, no, 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 no,
and through strong drink are they out of the way. Now the priests and their prophets of air through strong drink. I said their priests and their prophets of air. That means, yeah, they're teaching bullshit is what it means. It means they're teaching bullshit. That's what the Lord said. So there's got to be, that means there's got to be, and he's talking about the majority of the pastors and preachers. So that means he's talking about actual people. That's right. You know what I mean? They don't swallow up a wine. They are all in the way through strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. And that, and that strong drink, that's a metaphor that represents, it don't mean they got drunk and started teaching bullshit. No, they drunk on that. They drunk on that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> then they, uh, they stumble on judgment. They don't judge. That's he what said, you can do. Whatever you want to do, just pay the time. That's what your boy came up earlier and said. He said, "Y'all can't judge me. Only God can judge me." Well, fuck, we are God. Yeah, we are God. The scripture said we are God. And how did the prophet? How did the word come from the uh, Most High? It came to the prophet. That's a good point, though. You say that we are God. I didn't think about that. When you look up the meaning of the word Alahayim, because the Hebrew word for God is Alahayim. And it can mean God, power, judge, ruler. So there you go. So we are judges. We are rulers. They err in vision. They stumble in blood. It ain't coming in our lifetime, but Russia got a Satan tooth missile. <laughs> right, it upgraded. Yeah, it just upgraded the Satan missile, but it's not possible in our lifetime, but they got nuclear missiles. Right. I, you know, I don't think the average person realizes what it means that nuclear missiles exist. I don't think they understand that. I think America need another uh, uh, humor, uh, what's it? Shima, Shima. Hiroshima. Yeah, I think we, I, uh, yeah Japan, they, 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 they take that <laughs> hey, shit you know serious. What? There might be one close to I mean, they might hit North Korea, man. They, they might, they might. I, they we'll might. see what go down with the deal. Right. I'm hoping so, man. I'm hoping they better, I'm hoping they, they might. They might. I'm hoping Israel do something, somebody just do something, man. Because yeah. U.S. just sent um, their, uh, their, uh, their strike group into the uh, uh, Black Sea. Man, they always up The Mediterranean. One, uh, Russia don't like them up in that Black Sea like they that. Don't like, they don't want nowhere near yeah. there. Yeah, they don't want that's, Russia's, there. that's Russia's area. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and the Baltics. That's Russia's yeah, the Baltics, Baltics too. That's yeah. Russia shit, too. That's Russia. Yeah, that's right. And they don't realize them Russians, man. They already got their missiles. They got them, everything there. And them submarines. Yeah. Oh, they got Kalin. You know about Kalingrad, too, right there. Here go Russia. And then go way over here in Europe. They got this little tiny territory called Kalingrad. Yeah. Where they got all kind of missiles yep. pointed right in. And it's heavily on. Yeah. It's heavily on. Shit. They got top notch shit there, man. Top notch shit. Yeah, but them submarines, man. Remember the, uh, what is it, on the, them submarine off the coast of Sweden and Norway? Right. And they said it just disappeared. The one that just came to America. Oh, yeah, on the East Coast. <laughs> yeah. And they can't find yep. it. <laughs> That's funny as hell, man. Came in undetected and left undetected. That's Russia's real strength in the submarines. Because all them submarines have missiles on them. And they got the best uh, submarines on the planet. Yeah, the judgment ain't gonna happen in our lifetime. So we gotta wait. We gotta go grow man. old in this right. shit. I don't know if I'm old. We grow old in this shit. Gotta come back again. Because <laughs> you know this is a curse living in here, man. Sebastian said it's a fucking different guy. To live here? <laughs> Fuck. That's crazy. They actually hit teaching prosperity. Right. If America was actually the kingdom of God, that would make, turn me into an atheist. Oh. <laughs> right. Did you hear? I heard Christians say that. They say America is the land of milk and honey. I I got that. Yeah, I'll go kill myself. If that was true, I, I'd, kill, I'd end it all. Right. I'll, I'll do a Kurt Cobain out here, bro. <laughs> Verse 8. For all tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no place. Like all these haters that came up against it today, they just came out just vomiting. All, that was a sacrifice. It was a sacrifice of vomit. A sacrifice of fools come up here speaking on that vomit and filth that he's talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. These people ain't right, man. They say we, we bullies. Yeah, it do call us a bully. Well, I, 
I mean, so, yeah, we are. But actually, if we was out here just trying to be all sweet and nice, they'd run, they'd walk all over you. Take the cameras and all yeah, they would take your camera and just check in. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hate that shit because, like, I, I'm excited. I said it excited. Like, I let him answer his question. And I said, I answer his question. You get mad. 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 You get Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know. I was tr trouble. I, I, I love learning something. I thought bully just come from the word bull because yeah. a bull will run your ass over. I love hearing something. She didn't look at him That's the real, the, the fake bullies. We're going to call them fake bullies. Fake bullies, they go around and take everybody's shit. Oh, that's a real bully right there. Oh, yeah, fake bullies. <laughs> now I'm confused. The bull was a bully when he was with the nigga's ass and with that whip. You know what I'm saying? Like them photographers though, man. Yeah. Where are they back over there? They probably taking video of it. Oh, they work for. I wonder who they work for. Right, but they came up today in an evil ass spirit. It was that evil spirit. It's like it's like a. He said he killed somebody. But he got mad at us because he had his cop dog. But he, but he had took place in the corner. He killed somebody. 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 Killed I probably killed an Israelite over there. Oh, yeah. An Israelite. You know? You gotta remember, it's 2018. 18 years ago, he was probably in his 20s. Yeah, yeah. So back, boy, when did they go into Iraq with Bush? Like 2003, 2000? No, I'm talking about the first Bush. Well, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking he went in the last one, though. In 2003. Oh, he went that one? Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't think he's old enough. That was 2003. I don't think he's old enough to the 90s. 9-11 was Yeah. And it was like a year and a half later when they went into Cause my dad they had to do the politic game. They had to rouse the people up against Saddam Hussein. Because my dad, my right, dad, the Patriots won, yeah. they had to rise the people up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rouse them up. Man. My dad went to Operation Desert Shield and all that. Oh wow! Back in that's the early nineties. Yeah, that was fucking. Yeah. Now you think about it, that's a long time ago. That's a long fucking time ago. Because if you was in Dang. Desert Storm or Shield, bro, you were like fifty years old. That right? Yeah, that was a long, long time ago. Yeah, you boy killed somebody. So he's a murderer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. You can justify it, say using the military or whatever. Hey, explain that to the most hard, man. <laughs> See how he likes it. Is it. There's no justification for none of them wars. Oh, what did they go to Iraq for? For weapons of mass destruction. Here it is. They said uh, Saudi Arabians hijacked uh, planes and flew them in the building. So what did they do? Did they invade Saudi Arabia? Nah. They go to Afghanistan and Iraq. The guy did say it was He did, did he? Yeah. They did find some. He's like, they just didn't tell y'all. Yeah, that's what he said. I'm like, motherfucker, <laughs> Colin Powell. Colin Powell. Uh, what was he, a four-star general? Colin Powell testified before Congress and said there was no mass weapons of mass destruction. And we know there was no weapons of mass destruction. Right. They would have used them when you yeah. were in Oh, yeah, really? Stupid <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, dumbasses. yeah, dumbasses. They got weapons, but they're not using them. Now. And he had weapons of mass destruction, but they found, found, found him hiding in a hole. <laughs> like, uh, he forgot the... Dumbass, all sheep. But America got weapons of mass destruction, though. Yeah. So, so they can have... Who's allowed to have missiles? That's a hypocritic shit, man. There were no bombs. He's going to destroy all the missiles. Uh, he gonna be like Superman. <laughs> he gonna fly him and throw him into the sun. Motherfucker couldn't wait to get his own personal predator drone, man. I doubt it. What he do? He's the guy in the office. He fire missiles. Man, I miss Obama. Oh man. I'm. I'm. 
But yeah, we in a new era though, so we gotta let go. We gotta let go. Sometimes you gotta learn how to let go. Uh, Trump, Trump got Bush beat though. Uh oh, you gonna watch that? <laughs> they gonna get your ass out of here. That nigga helping us out. Cause motherfucker Jake is so gone, bro. You say anything good about right, Trump, they ready to kill you. Bro, hey, who you on the phone with talking about they like Trump? Like, damn, this is my phone. Fuck you, I'm on the other end of my line. That's what we should find to go move with him. Damn. Yeah, I remember that's doing voting uh, uh, and shit. My mom and my sister are talking. And they, yeah, I vote for uh, Hillary. My mom asked her, like, why you voted her for? Why did you vote for her for? My sister was stuck. <laughs> she, you know what I'm saying? She got kind of mad. People, people don't, people don't, they just look at the TV. Oh, that Trump is bad, bro. What and not only that, but they just, they're lifelong Democrats. So no matter who got that D beside them, that's who they're voting for. Us. You know. The funniest thing: the Republicans won that so-called free Man, fuck all these faggots, man. <laughs> fuck the Republicans and the Democrats. You know what I mean? That that whole that whole politic thing is a waste. Of, that's a all bullshit. Politics is bullshit. It's a waste. Of, and yeah. Hillary beefing. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Body. You seen that, that movie? No. Body Alive? No, no. I just heard the same. Oh, that is the same, but it was a good ass movie about that too. Nah, nah, nah. What was that? No, that was something else. Uh, Body a lot. Hold up. Was that? That wasn't on it. I'm thinking of something. I'm thinking of a different movie. That's a good movie. But yeah. Like you were saying, Hillary and Obama, they was running, they was beating, they was beating, and now all of a sudden, she now was... Oh, as soon as Trump won the president, as soon as Trump got elected, he said all oh, the Clintons are great people. Yeah. He was on CNN saying it was great, fantastic people. Well, Man, that, show you set up. It's all set up. It's just like, it's like yeah. WWE, bro. It's WWE when you watch shit on the TV. It's like a, uh, uh, what's that? The, the, the story, story, you know? The, uh, the story. So popular. It's so popular. It is, though. It is, though. It really is. You, know, you see Trump is treating the politics yeah, yeah. just like his reality show. Yeah. Firing motherfuckers left yeah. and right. He's doing the same yeah. shit. Same yeah. shit. Man, when they on TV, they enemies. But when, yeah. the, when they're not on TV, hey, they're, they're going to dinner with each other. Shoot the golf. Yeah, yeah, playing golf together, you know? So. <laughs> That tells you that, that that TV shit got like a type of spirit, like sitting on evil spirit, like What it? They actually use certain frequencies that can actually put you in a hypnotic state. Like when you watch a movie, it can be like somebody like uh, like like uh, which, uh, which like, you know, uh, like, oh, thirteen years or something. Uh, 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 birth of a nation. Yeah, that one. Yeah, if you that little boy, they act like he whipped them and shit, and then they betrayed him. You know, I ain't seen it yet. It's like like examples like that. Somebody become a traitor. You like you start hating that movie. Like you literally hate that motherfucker. Like you can actually feel the hate. But then it, it's just a movie though. That's, that tells you that that is a program like, and that shit. Like, like, yeah, like, movies. Man, like movies 9 work. 11, everybody was hating the motherfucking town here, even though we didn't hate it anyway. But but some of us cool though. If they put the spirit on you when you see an A rap, you be terrified. You see him on a bus, but oh, they're gonna blow us up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but really it was your government. Though. Right, because, yeah, you got people looking at it now because uh, it's a racist-ass country, man. It, not only are racist against so-called black people, they racist against the uh, the Arabs that come over here. Because some of them Arabs come over here, they cool as hell. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, some of them is Jake. Yeah. So you got to test the spirits. You got people, they say, oh, goddamn filthy-ass Somalian. Like, we might be bad, too. But we, we know how to judge the spirit. <laughs> but we know some of them be cool though. Some of them is Jake, you know? Some of them is an Israelite. We gotta test the spirit. That's why I'm glad that we got this multicultural shit. Even though Jake, that ain't no Jake. Ain't no Israelite right there. No. Uh uh. Damn, he just came straight out the tombs. Damn. <laughs> it came out the tombs. Uh, it's uh, probably going back to the uh, television. That was called, how's it go? Program television. Program. It's called program. And sometimes, even though, like I said, it got uh, frequencies that put you in a hypnotic trance, and they also have certain refresh rates that, that will mess with your, it just puts you in a trance. You ever watch Sports Center? Oh, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, read your script. Sorry, sorry. Please talk about that. Yeah, I just be. It's uh, Proverbs 14 and uh, Proverbs 14 and uh, 15. Says the simple believes every word. Oh, the simple believes every word. Oh, that's like with that with that latest school shooting. 
everybody believed every everybody believed the official story because y'all simple. Because if you watch the actual news, there was a uh, students interviewed and said there was multiple shooters. They, they 